Hey guys, um, welcome back to my channel. Let me turn this TV down really quick. So sorry about that. Welcome back to another page of the Haley Diaries. Today we have some stuff to do. Um, I am going to be making a crock pot dish for dinner, which means I need to get it started here in the next two hours. It is actually an hour and a half. It is 1227 and the crock pot dish is going to take four hours to cook. So to eat by six, I need to get it started by two o'clock. Um, but in order to do that, I need to get my chores done. Well, not really, but I need to get the kitchen cleaned up first. This is what it's looking like. It's not so bad. Honestly, it's only going to take me a little bit to clean it. The problem I'm having is that I have a very cranky toddler today. Are you okay? So as you can see, he's very grumpy. Um, nothing is making him happy today. He's not really eating anything and he's just kind of fussy. Okay, that's okay, love. Want this? Um, yeah, but I've got a lot of chores to do. I need to clean up his toys. I need to get the laundry swapped over and folded. Um, and I need to do the dishes so I can start my crock pot dish. So that is first priority. I need to do it all well. Okay. Why are you so mad? It's okay. Calm down. Okay, he's just very tired, I think, but I know he's not going to sleep. I don't really have the time to try and lay down with him, so. Are you all done? Let's just sit down on the couch to watch a movie. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and jump into the things I need to start doing and just try and get as much done as I can. So I'm going to start with the kitchen and hopefully he'll be okay.
Kristen. All right, you guys, so it is 1.03. Just finished up the kitchen. So now at least I can do my crock pot meal. I don't know how much of the rest of the house is gonna get cleaned. I did clean my bathroom this morning, so at least there's that. I made my bed. Uh, mainly, I just wanna get some laundry done and pick up his toys. But yeah, we'll see. I'll check back in in a little bit. Okay, so I'm about to make my crock pot dish. Um, sorry. Um, it's super easy, and I actually learned this from another YouTuber. Um, you guys have probably heard of her channel. It is Beauty and the Beastins. Um, so she does this pretty regularly in her videos, so I thought I'd give it a try today. This is my first time trying it. Um, so yeah, I thought I would give it a try. So I'm going to show you guys what she does and I'm going to basically do the exact same thing. Okay, so our ingredients are very simple. Um, I have some washed potatoes right here that I'm going to chop up into bite-sized pieces, and I will show you guys those. What, you need more? You need more fruit snacks? Okay. Okay, and then I have this bag of chicken. I don't remember if these are breasts or thighs. So these are breasts. So just like a little pack of chicken breast here and then our crock pot and then a ranch seasoning. So it just requires one of these. So basically, basically that is all, not basically, that is all the ingredients. She also throws in a bunch of green beans, but I personally don't like green beans. So I think on the side, I'm just gonna um, make some edamames cause we really like those with just like salt and pepper on them. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and chop up these potatoes. Okay, so we've got all of our potatoes. And now I'm just going to go ahead and place the chicken breast in the crock pot. I'm going to try and show you guys how I do it too. And then now we are gonna put it on high. And then I'm gonna do it for four hours. So I'm gonna set a timer for four hours.
All right, and that's it. So we're gonna let it cook for four hours. Um, it doesn't require, oops. It doesn't require any liquid, like most crock pot dishes. Um, the humidity from the whole thing is liquidy enough for everything. And yeah, she said it totally works. So we're gonna leave it at that and come check on it in a few. All right, you guys, it is coming along. It smells delicious. So I just wanted to show you that. I just went upstairs and gave Kingsley I'm sorry, I laid him down for a nap. Um, we have three hours left on the timer. So, he's taking a nap now upstairs. I'm going to do a quick cleanup around the living room. Um, and just put all these toys away because they're kind of everywhere. And then I'm going to swap the laundry, fold what's in there, and probably put some more in. So, yeah. Okay, so before I end this video, I want to show you guys um, how I went through and reorganized all the toys after Christmas. Um, I'm sure you guys could kind of tell we took down all of our Christmas decorations. Our tree is no longer up. We put our book stands um, back where they go. The only thing I did leave was this garland around the board 
um, that I used for homeschool because I thought it looked pretty there. And then here in the kitchen, we left these um, white lights. Um, we didn't leave them. We put them up over here after we undecorated for Christmas. And we decided to like start down here. So it goes all along the counter and then up and under all of the cabinets. And it just looks pretty and just brightens it up in here. And honestly, I really like it. Um, other than that, we took down all the Christmas decorations though, and they're all in a bin and I ordered bins for the, for the Christmas decorations. And then I also ordered bins for the toys to organize. So I'm going to go through and show you guys what I did. Um, first, actually, let me turn the light on. Okay. So first, this is the little toy area I've given him since Christmas. Um, it's right here in the dining room. So there's a good little chunk of space in the mirror next to where I homeschool. So I think it's just a really good area. Um, and it's kind of out of the way of the living room. So we have his kitchen. Um, and then I put those um, just like homeschooling. Um, it's like a color sorting activity on top because it's food wise. He's got his stuff in here. I put all of the kitchen toys in this basket and then his pots and pans are over here. We actually gave him this. It was a buttermilk, but we like washed it out and gave him that because it's cute. Um, this is like the little, um, it's like an interactive mat. It like talks and stuff when you touch it. We hung it on the wall and then he's just got his other kind of like household toys. So like his vacuum and his broom and stuff. And I thought this was just like a cute little kitchen area for him. So he really seems to like it. And then over here in the stands, I'll start with this one on the left. The knob popped off, but this is where I keep all of their books. On this side, I have all of Kingsley's books. Um, and then this is full of a couple of activities, um, more for Malachi. They're like older activities, like puzzles that are like in pieces. This is just one of Kingsley's toys. I don't know how to shut it off. Um, and then all of Malachi's toys are on this, or Malachi's books are on this side. I have them, like, organized, too, from, like, um, Marvel superhero to random storybooks and then to, like, thicker, um, bedtime fairy tale books. Oh, my God. Um, yeah. And then down here, I've got puzzles on this side. These are all puzzles. And then... From here over is all games. And these are the kinds of games that I don't want the baby to get into. Um, so basically like this whole cupboard is more of like, no, no, don't touch without supervision. Um, over here, I've got this cupboard on the left and it has a big basket. It's not as messy as it looks. Um, this, I just don't really have a home for yet. This and this, I don't know where I'm putting them. But... I've got a giant basket of Legos. This entire thing is full of Legos. I don't know how we ended up with so many, if I'm being honest. He doesn't even know how to play with them, and they just end up all over the floor every time. Anyway, I hate it. Um, I'm thinking about moving it to, like, up on top of the bookshelf for a little while until maybe he's a little bit older, but I don't know. We've got his guitar, and then this is one of his drumsticks. The other one is missing, so we'll find it eventually. But, yeah, so that there is that cupboard. And then down here I've got another book. This is an interactive one. Um, it just doesn't fit in the book cupboard. So it, like, interacts with him. And then this book is actually really neat. He got it for Christmas. My husband picked it up. And it's, like, an interactive one, too, um, like, where you can touch it. It has all the different kinds of textures and stuff, and it, like, dances. So, it's pretty cool. I keep those out here so he can access them easier, and he has a couple of options. This tub is just full of a couple of small toys that he really enjoys playing with, so he can easily access it. Um, this is, like, a remote control car, his Xbox controller, and his keys. He likes those. Um, I love that it's just easily put away and up. And he really can't get into it without any help. So it's kind of nice because it helps it stay clean. Um, in here, I've got two more bins of 
toys. These are like building blocks. It's like a whole city um, that you can build with. And then these are just like the big alphabet and number blocks. So there's two bins of those in there. Um, this is where I'm keeping my diapers and wipes for right now. And then we have one more cupboard over here. And this one has his tools. Um, this is like a little puzzle set. He actually really loves this now, and he's really good at it now. It's been a long time we've been using that. Um, this, These are a couple puzzles, and then these are all the pieces to the puzzles. So I like how he can't get into them without help. So that way none of them are getting lost. Um, he's got his baby shark puzzle down here, and he absolutely loves it. Um, this is full of random toys. Um, cause you know, all kids have the random toys that don't really have other toys that are just like it. They don't really have like a set bin to go in. So these are all just kind of like a mixture of toys and cars and all kinds of things. And then in this basket, he's got his, uh, car track. So it's like all the track and then the cars that go to it. And then this is his kinetic sand. And then this is a big like sheet. I don't know, like a plastic sheet you lay on the floor and then they do arts and crafts on top of like they can color on it and things like that. And it's easily just wiped clean. And then his cash register. And that is all of the toys that are downstairs right now. The rest are up in the playroom still, which um, I need to go through them. I've sort of gone through them and I've put away a bunch of the ones that he doesn't play with anymore that I'm going to keep for the next baby. Um, and I put them in a big tote, kind of like this one. I picked up a bunch of totes from Target, along with those little ones that I just showed you guys that have the toys in them. So I'm still kind of in the process of going through the, the toys in the playroom. But the playroom isn't really working out for him because it's all the way upstairs. Um, so he doesn't go to, and play in it. His older brother is only here every other week. So it's really only when his older brother's here that he'll go up there. Um, cause he has to have someone with him and that kind of defeats the whole purpose of a playroom. It was kind of to help him be more independent. So it's not working. Um, and then even if I'm upstairs doing chores, like in my room or in, um, his brother's room, he still won't go play by himself in the playroom. So he's much more comfortable playing down here, um, just kind of all over. So that's why I just sort of moved, started moving things back down here again and figuring out ways to organize it without it being, overwhelming and taking up all of the space so honestly it's really working out I really recommend getting these little storage bins and just separating the toys out and organizing them that way so yeah I just wanted to share that with you guys um, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here but I hope you enjoyed and I cannot wait to see you in the next one bye